you may plan to seem reap and visit Angkor Wat and do it all yourself to arrange transport, to decide when and where to go and what to see. This video guides you so that you don't miss anything. Here are things to prepare before you enter the sites, that are located within Anchor Archaeological Park, about 8 kilometers of Siem Reap City. First, take a tuk-tuk, that costs around $15 per day, in the street or outside of hotels or at the ticket office next to the airport exit. Then tell the driver to take you to buy one of three passes required to enter the Anchor Archaeological Park. One day pass costs $37. 3-day pass, $62 and 1-week pass, $72. Keep the pass with you for ticket control at every temple. Before visiting the UNESCO World Heritage listed Angkor Wat, it is good idea to visit other temples because you need about 2 hours only to visit the temple. The name, Angkor Wat, has familiar ring, but is only a small part of vast site of ruins, that covers more than 20,000 hectares, represents five centuries of former Khmer Empire date back to as early as the 9th century. If your time is not limited, first, visit Angkor Thom and then Top Rome. If you want to take beautiful pictures you should choose right time to visit the temple. Begin between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Anchor Wat faces to the west, so, at that time the light is behind you. Because of the popular sunrise, Anchor Wat is open early, at 5 a.m. and close at 5.30 p.m. To go for the sunrise, arrange a tuk-tuk in advance. It should be noted about Siem Reap weather. November through February are generally considered to be the best time of year to visit. The temperature peaks out in April and May and may rise up to 37 Celsius or 99 Fahrenheit. Often it rains through October and November, and have usually stopped completely by mid-November. Anchor Wat, surrounded by a moat and an exterior wall measuring 1300 meters x 1500 meters, is a replica of the universe in stone and represents an early model of cosmic world. The monument symbolizes the mythical Mount Maru. The surrounding moat correspond to the ocean beyond. Start to take pictures at the causeway entrance. The moat is crossed by causeway, leading to the entry tower. That now is closed for reconstruction. New floating bridge has been built for visitors. Cross through floating bridge to first visit at the west entry tower. The two gateways of ground level, that probably was served as a passage for elephants, horses and carts is now used for Anchor Wat exit only. Turn left to the central entrances, passed by steps to see a huge standing stone figure of Vishnu image. Then turn right to column gallery, exit the gallery. Look at false doors with balusters and celestial dancers, called Asaras, on the outer wall. Thousands of Apsaras have been caved to decorate Anchor Wat wall. Walk along raised walkway bordered by Naga balustrades to the following places. The two buildings, standing in the courtyard on left and right, just past the middle of walkway are so-called libraries. In front of the libraries there are two basins, where you can take beautiful reflection of the towers in the water. Continue further to visit bar reliefs in a gallery running right round the perimeter of the first level. Inside the gallery there is a solid wall decorated with the great bar reliefs of Angkor Wat. Start visiting the bar reliefs that tell different stories from left to right. A popular scene from Ramayana. Battle of Lanka It is the fierce war between Rama with his monkey soldiers and ten-headed Ravana, who captured Rama's wife, Sita. Battle scene of Hindu epic Mahabharata. It is also the war between two cousins, Kaurava and Pandava, in Kurukshetra, India. Army of King Suryavarman II Judgment by Yama The God of Death who has many arms and seated on a buffalo, deliver judgment in the hell. Heaven and Hell, the bar reliefs show a series of tortures in the hell, while the upper scene presents the people living in peace of celestial palaces. Here is the story of churning of the ocean of milk. By using Mount 
Mandara, as the central pivot and Naga, Vasuki, as the rope around the churn, the gods and Asuras churn the ocean of milk to produce elixir immortality. After visiting the bar reliefs continue to ascend the topmost level. Because this is a sacred place the temple dress code is required. Make sure to cover your shoulders, chest, knees and remove hat. Some people are afraid of height when go back through steep stair with 40 steps, so decide before you climb to the top. Now you reach the topmost level, where enjoy the view of surrounding countryside. The central sanctuary shelters image of the Buddha, that people make offer to and light kindles in this sacred inner sanctum. Descent from the sanctuary and head for cruciform shaped gallery. You are now on second level. Walk to the west and enter left doorway of a gallery. Go down to the gallery of thousand Buddhas, that contains many Buddha images. Spend your time learning the center of the cruciform shaped gallery. Opposite the gallery there is a hall of echoes. In the hall unusual acoustics can be heard when you stand with your back to the wall and thump your chest. Finish your tour by returning to the first level and arrive at the Terrace of Honor. Walk through the walkway and exit the ground level gateway of West Exit Tower. You have visited Angkor Wat at daytime and may go to watch sunrise the next morning. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.